In this video, we explore the fundamental unit of information in computer science, the bit, and get to understand the names and symbols for corresponding powers of base 2 and base 10. So as you're probably aware, in computing devices, the fundamental unit of information is the bit. There is no smaller possible unit. A single bit can be represented as either a 1 or a 0, and of course we refer to this as binary. The bit is so fundamental for computers as it can be represented by an electrical current or a circuit which can exist in one of two states. At a very high level, you can think of the current as either flowing or not flowing, being on or off, the voltage being high or low. So at a most basic level, a computer can only understand 1 and 0. A group of 8 bits together is known as a byte. With only two values available, 0 and 1, it's important to understand how many different values can be represented with n bits. So there are 2n possible variations with n bits. So for example, we had 3 bits available. We can arrange them in 2 to the power 3 or 8 different ways. And we can see that here. So we can see if we had one byte, there are 256 possible permutations or ways of arranging these numbers. When describing quantities of bytes, we can use both binary prefixes, representing powers of 2, and decimal prefixes, representing powers of 10. The following two tables show some of the symbols and shorthand and terminology you need to be familiar with for the AQA level exam. So in base 10 decimal, the value of a thousand can be referred to as a kilo. One thousand kilos is a mega, one thousand megas is a giga, and one thousand gigas is a tera. Of course in computing we obviously use binary, which is base 2, you can see how the numbers are comparable but slightly different. So when we multiply up in powers of 2, we end up with 1,024, and that's a kibby. 1,024 of those is a mebby. 1,024 of those is a gibby. And 1,024 of those is a tebby. Now, these, this is as far, the terra, or tibby, is as far as you'll need to know for the AQA exam. But just for information, obviously we have values that go far further. So once we have a thousand terras, we have a peta. A thousand petas is an exa. A thousand exas is a zeta. And a thousand zetas is a yotta. And there are similar names for the base two. Now you need to be a little bit careful because historically, and also in general usage today, the term kilobyte, megabyte, terabyte, which we use to refer typically to the size of hard drives and other storage medium, are often used when technically what people mean are actually the base 2 variants. This has come as common usage in today's language, which is actually a mistake, so make sure you're aware of that distinction in the exam. Base 